Mm. You're showing this. Go ahead, introduce. Okay, uh, good morning, Kaitala, Josh Kopa. We are going to do a little presentation on rattle making. It's very good um, to be here with all of you. And I hope to uh, impress upon you maybe the, the ability to make a rattle. Very, um, very important um, piece of instrument, very valuable to our people. Oya Sakina is what our people refer to as the rattle. Um, so maybe some of you out there that are listening or watching have made one before. Maybe you kind of need to refresh your memory, but we'll go ahead and go through the process of we doing a small size rattle. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Who you are? We got video production managers getting set. We'll go ahead and uh, um, introduce uh, uh, myself. My name is John Herrera. Uh, love doing uh, things like this uh, for for you to enjoy, and I hope, like I said, uh, you'll be able to uh, pick up something that um, you know can be. Uh, of value to you and your family if you are able to pick up the ability to make rattles. Let me go ahead and start off with some, I have a couple of samples here. You can see we got what they call the flat rattle. Very nice, has a nice sound. Here. And then also we have, I really like this shape, it's almost perfectly round, but another type of uh, gourd that our people make use of. And this has a yeah, really nice uh, appearance to it and not too deep of a sound. But the one I'm gonna be using today is a little one um, that I found that uh, due to time limits, constraints, I'll go ahead and use this little one and uh, get, go through the process um, in for a fair amount of time. But um, what it, before I uh, even get to work on the rattle, I um, boil them in, I get, I go out to one of the cedar trees in the surrounding area and I'll pick some branches off. And what I do is I boil, boil uh, the little branches and get it nice and hot. And then I'll put in my gourds in there and let them boil for a while. Uh, you know, the old folks tell us it kind of is a preservative and it gives, adds a little neat color to it. And then after that process is done, I'll take them out after probably about maybe an hour's time of boiling. And then I'll set them out in the sun to dry, a couple of days for them to dry thoroughly inside and out. And then I'll um, start cleaning them, cleaning the inside. Have a, uh, you can use a screwdriver, you can use a butter knife. I've seen guys use butter knives, you know, just a, something that, angles you to the inside and you can uh, thoroughly clean the inside. But that's the important part is to get it as clean as you can without, um, gotta be careful though, because these are, can be fragile. There's some of them are thin walled, some are uh, a little bit thicker. This one's about uh, probably medium. It should have a good sound just by hearing the thickness of it. So this is what I'll be using today. And as far as the um, rattle handles, this part, if you look, you have the handle itself, and then throughout the length of the gourd, with a little piece sticking out, you have to calculate how much you're gonna need for a young person. You know, of course, this probably a bit of guy, probably the hand size of mine. But sometimes we make like this little guy, probably for a young, a little boy, will need a smaller handle, and then you calculate how much you're going to be sticking out through the top, but the, the you'll have the um, handle itself plus the shaft inside plus the outer part sticking on the top. And then if you look closely, I got a little peg on each side. That's what we hold the rattle. Um, put that close. You can see that little peg on the top. 
Okay, now that's what we hold the rattle in place. So, and then the next step is to find, and I just, mind you, I just went outside looking around the yard and I found this. So this length up, um, it looks to be like willow. Okay, willow stick, very abundant throughout our, um, our um, waterway, our real, grand, real San Jose. And then here's another willow, a little bit longer. Uh, make a good, excellent rattle handle. And something that I found outside, look at this old dowel. You know, readily available. You can get them at the craft stores and um, Home Depot, some of the um, home improvement outlets. And then here's another newer dowel. See, you can use all of these. I've seen, um, I times I've used drip wood, like what this is made of. There's a strip wood that I found along the uh, river waste that's washed up onto the bank of the river. That's what made a nice handle. And then looking at this one, it looks like to be some sort of wood too. So very, uh, you know, you can use a, a good variety of different materials for your handle. So, but what dictates which, what you're gonna use is, if you look, the hole is not perfectly even. Uh, it kind of chipped off on the side. So no problem. Um, you come across these uh, at times where you chip away, and you break uh, portions of the gore. Uh, you'd rather not, but sometimes it happens, but uh, no problem. But what I'm gonna do is uh, now to choose which one of these wood I'm gonna use. So, you know, I, I kind of like to, to recycle this old dowel that it fits pretty good inside the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, okay? So before I give you kind of a rundown of tools I use, of course my, Michelle. Mitch. Never mind. Okay, lost video connection for a while. But um, anyway, as I was saying, the type of hole dictates the type of uh, wood you can use. So I, I like the thought of recycling this old worn dowel. So I'm gonna use that. It kind of looks dirty and, but um, after we do a little sanding, after the rattle's finished, you'll be back to uh, normal. Let's see if you look. It's pretty good in there, so I'm gonna go go ahead and use this. So, like I said, I'm um, gonna give you a breakdown of tools that I use: pocket knife, knife I've had for many years, uh, newer pocket knife that I just acquired not too long ago, uh, a little blade. Remember, these are very sharp. Um, please use all caution when you're using sharp things like this. And a couple of the saws that I have are just little hand drawn saws. You can pick these up, they're not very expensive. A uh, little saw for finer detail. And then I have this, it's a little, what they call jeweler saw. Very good for cutting angles. Okay, and of course, trust the old marker. You'll need to mark your, your um, handle to cut it. A uh, little sharp awl, they call it, punching holes. It's kind of a bigger all. And um, if, I, if I find any something else, I'll go ahead and uh, show you that tool. But for now, we got all that we need right here to make a nice rattle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bust out my marker and I'm gonna get, remember I told you for accounting for that little portion on the top right there. That's what we're gonna try to do this. Okay, so you kind of just look at it and make sure you have enough sticking out. And then what I first do is mark where the handle will fit into the wood. And then of course, kind of guess, guess where you're gonna have your hand. So I'm gonna just put it there for now. You can always make it smaller if we need to. So that is where I'm gonna cut my handle. Okay, and so I have a neat little block that keeps it in place. So I'll go ahead and use, I like using this saw. 
it cuts pretty quick. So let me go ahead and cut. All right, cool. So there's the start of what is going to be my handle. I'm constantly referring back. It looks like it's going to work. But as you look, bigger hole down here, a little bit smaller on the top. So you look, it's not going to fit. So I kind of have to cut down that little portion. So the inside of the rattle, where it enters to the top, you have to make it smaller. So that's where my trusty old pocket knife comes in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of score a little area around. It kind of gives me a, a line to everything up. Or I don't cut too much off. Yeah, Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start whittling away. Hold it harder than the others. Now what I found when I'm not uh, looking at it is um, solid hardwood. Be a little, make my job a little harder, but no problem. We learn to work with things like this when they present it themselves. So it takes a little time. Okay, so constantly looking back. You can see how I would it away a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, let's see. So that's almost about right. A little bit more. I got the. Um, you know what a mask is. I've got to dig that out. Ooh, I'll go ahead and continue with my knife. There. There we go. Starting to fit. Okay. And see, we're starting to see it come through. So it's almost there, just need to whittle away a little bit. I said, sometimes you have a little hardwood, you didn't expect to. Look at this double to be this. Uh... Okay, I wanna point out is you have a old apron or even an old t-shirt, you know, it keeps you. Uh, you know, some, some of you have some really nice clothing. You don't want to yeah, ruin any of your best shirts. Okay, so I'm taking a little more off. Again, always going back to seeing how it's going to fit. Now you are starting to see a little bit more. See that? Okay, we're almost there. Okay, here we go. Continuing on. Ideally, you would want to take off 
a little bit more. If you look at this, see how this goes. If this wood wasn't too hard and I had a little more time than I'm having to show you today, I probably, so you can see my marker lines, I probably want to take the whole thing down that much but because this is pretty solid. And like I said, the time that's allowed today, I'm just going to go ahead and try to take off as best I can. Just enough. Okay. You look constantly going back, making sure. What do you think? I think it's doable. I think it pretty much can work. Okay, see that? Let me go ahead and look for, I got my little shoe back here. What are the hard tools that I forgot to pick up earlier? Moving on, this little two bag I got probably about two tools that I use for my work. Oh well, I'll find it later on. But you see. Close, you can see that it's going to work. Okay, that's as far as it can go, as far as forcing it up in there. You don't want to go too hard, force it way too much, you might end up breaking it. And you see, probably can good enough for my hand, but since it's going to be for a little, a little guy, I'll probably go ahead and cut this down a little bit. So, knowing kind of a little boy's hand will probably be about like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to about right here. Okay, so again, you just kind of keep, have to put, consider all this of who you're making it for, what age person. The little guys have small hands, so where that line is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Okay. See that? I cut off a nice little portion of it. Sandpaper, some important stuff. So to make this smooth, I'll go ahead and use sandpaper. Different Pueblos have different styles. Um, I know some of the Pueblos like their points real sharp and about that long. Uh, Laguna style, pretty much like that. Okay. So we'll try to do a Laguna style rattle. Sandpaper, wander some wood, moves it out. Hold a, a sanded wood in your hands. It really feels good in your hands. It's nice and smooth. So, like I said, that at first, this old piece of dowel, the wood I found outside, just laying by my storage. And just tonight, or today, being a piece of a rattle. How neat is that? That's a pretty neat thing. We're recycling an old dowel and making a nice little rattle for someone to use. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna go with that. And once again, yeah, I'll show you how that goes. Let's put that right straight through. It kind of look like this one. See that? Pretty neat, huh? Okay, now. Uh, I know guys use different things. I see some will use different types of corn. Some will use different types of seed. Some use uh, uh, little pebbles they find. I just use a mixture of all things. But for this rattle, for this little guy, 
have the perfect thing. Popcorn. Popcorn works really well. Um, little, little guy rattles. So that's all we use for the demonstration today. So, palm of your hand. Well, it's been nothing you know, too, too much. So I'm gonna probably use about, you can see, about that much, okay? So where do I put it? Right in there. To the board. You can see all these little popcorn kernels are all happy, trying to make their way into that little gourd, knowing they're gonna be a rattle. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so what we wanna do now is test it, the sound. Okay, see that little rattle? Let's see the sound. Yeah. Oh, okay, next step. I want to make sure that you don't pop out. So what I'm going to try to do is one of these. You can see those little versions. And I find one of the best things to use, you can use carve your own out of wood. But I find what really works well is good old toothpick. Okay, so I have so I want to align this to where I'm going to put it. So I use this, that's why this all comes in. It's a little sharp tool. It's nice for starting and marking where you need to put that little thing. You're trying to want to make it as tight as you can to where it's going to hold the rattle in place, okay? And you want it straight across from each other. So I'm trying to see where it's gonna be, about right here. Can you see that? Okay, so that's gonna go in. The next two I use, it's my little drill. And I'll use the tiniest drill bit I have, my little collection of drills. So I'll use this little guy. Okay, some of you have drills at home. Um, sometimes you don't have to use a drill like this because um, the wood is soft. Sometimes you can just you can just use it one of these to poke your hole. But because this wood is kind of solid, strong, I'm gonna use one of these. So just slowly. Um, don't just go out and rush to use your drill if you're. Uh, the young person wanted to try a rattle, make sure you get permission first, okay? So, you know, you can see that I drilled that hole right in there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Okay, so I got a hole both sides. You can see that. Now, I'm gonna put my little stick. You know, I'll shoot two picks are sharp on one end. I'm going to cut off the sharp end of it. Make sure that it'll fit within the hole. It looks like it's going to work pretty good. Okay. So uh, I'll need some glue. This is the only time I use the glue. Can you give me the glue over there? See that? Okay. So here's my little toothpick. It's going to serve a real important purpose. It's gonna complete my rattle. So, ooh, this wood glue is a good adhesive for, for wood. And I use this quite a bit in woodworking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip a little in the glue, okay? And I'm gonna put it in that first little hole. And kind of force it in. And then I'll use this as kind of like a hammer. Okay. And then here's where my fine, little fine saw comes in. So I'll kind of, not just enough where I don't 
make a team that is small. Okay, see that? First one's in. Next one, dab a little more glue. Again, right into that hole. Okay. You can use a little hammer, you have one, or a little heavy object. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try another different tool, my jeweler's saw, okay? Same process, just giving it enough room. Cut into that. No, right through. And then usually try to wait till the glue dries, but because of time, I'll go ahead and add a little sand everything again. And then later on, I can give this handle a good sandy when everything dries off. But for the most part, our little Oya Sagina, our little rattle is done. Didn't take, too, take us too long. The boiling process is, like I said, when I describe how we have to do that, uh, boil the gourd, that will probably be the most time consumer of anything and then the drying process for your gourd. As far as putting this in, um, we had a nice wood, like I said. We reused the old dowel that served as our rattle handle. See that? So it worked out for us. So there we have it and ready for a young person to use in one of our ceremonies. How really nice, huh? So that concludes my rattle making demonstration. So once again, um, we have gourds at your home. We'll be probably looking at you and saying, make me a rattle, make me into a rattle. And you could, I know you guys have the ability to do it. You just want it. Have to need or want to do it. Okay. So that's all I have for today. But uh, thank you for letting me share with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll take care of yourselves. See you next time. Thank you, John. This is um, Kathleen Herrera. Uh, John Herrera is present doing the presentation for the rattle making. If you had any questions, you can contact me at the school and then we'll, um, um, we were hoping to do it in live, but since we're still in the um, COVID situation, we have to videotape. Once again, John, can you tell us the name of the rattle in the Keras language? Okay, or they refer uh, in the Keras language for Laguna, they call our rattles Oya Sakina, Oya Sakina. Oh, yeah. They got me a Christmas present here for someone. Okay. 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 Take care, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today. We hope to see you soon. Thank you. As I stop.